Hey guys, we have an update for Cable Basher 1.2. This new feature allows you to wrap cables around any visible meshes in the viewport. In this case here, we have this pig model from Sketchfab. So you can click wrap spline and what it does, it gives you a preview of where the spline is going to get generated and you can see it wraps around the contours of the surface. Once you click, it commits to that position, and then you can move in the vertical to rotate it on one axis, and you can move in the horizontal to rotate it on the other. And then you can mix that kind of positioning to get some cool rotations. So we'll do one right under his belly. Uh, we'll click wrap spline again. Let's do one right across his forehead and under his ear. And then we'll do one more here uh, right on his stomach, right over his shoulder. Perfect. So now what we can do is we'll select all of our splines. We'll click this chain link cable that I made and we'll hit preview to see what it looks like. Uh, and you can see if you don't like the size of them, if they're too small, you can go over here to the radius and we can make them maybe a little bit bigger. Um, and then we'll go ahead and hit create and that commits that cable creation. Now your second question might be, well, why are the chains going through the mesh? Uh, a quick solution for that is you just select the cable and you can adjust this offset parameter. It might vary based on how the normals are calculated on the spline itself, which is not exposed yet through max script. So this part might just be the manual section you have to do for the time being. So we'll just go ahead and push this outside the surface. And now, yeah, you have a pig wrapped in chains. Pretty cool. If you have any feedback or feature requests, let me know. Thanks.